Hi again, this is Adam from Ads Productions and this is the review of the Zalman Theta 6M 5.1 channel equivalent surround sound headphones. In the packaging you get the user's manual. It's just the standard user's manual. It tells you everything about it. Different languages and like things like that. We have the microphone cable and the connector that goes into the sound card. And we have the headphones themselves with the connections here. The most important part of like any headphones are the fact that these are very softly padded because the average person that's going to buy a pair of these are going to be is going to be someone that's going to be using their computer for extended periods of time and if you're using headphones and they're like hard plastic then they're not going to be comfortable. But these are quite comfortable. However though it's not the most comfortable headphones you can get. What I mean by this is if you wear it for extended periods of time like more than I don't know, 8 hours that's just a random estimate but yeah they're good for long periods of time however don't wear them for too long because they can start to hurt. We can see we've got the foam here on top this is always good to have because if, if, the, uh, if that foam wasn't included then this would be resting on your head and it's basically just hard plastic so yeah just thought I might point that out to you guys Another thing that's quite odd about these headphones, I just like the abstractness of them. And if you're wearing them on your head, that's what it looks like from the side. You wouldn't expect it to be like that. You'd want it those to be on the side of your head like that. It just seems a bit strange. Not in a bad way, I guess, but it just seems not normal. As you can see on the side of these headphones, you do have the Zalman logo with a restricted trademark underneath. And it does say Zalman Tech Co. Limited. Please bear in mind that these are 5.1 surround sound headphones. Well, not exactly 5.1 physically, but they're equivalent to that in a headphone. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the connections of these headphones. As you can see, we have a grey sort of one. Don't know how well you can see that, but it does say F. That stands for front, and that's the connection that you put into the sound card labeled front. So and we as you can see we have a black connector here. It does in fact say C on it. This means center and this again just to guide you of where to put it in the sound card. And finally we have a slightly lighter a darker shade of grey sorry. It does say R on it. I think you can see that right there. That R stands for rear and again that's just guidance for where to put it in the sound card. Please note that this pair of headphones does come with this. When you get this, you might be thinking, what on earth is this for? Well, this is, this is in fact the microphone. As you can see there. It's got a mic little microphone symbol. If you can't see that, never mind. But yeah, that's just the microphone connector. You might be wondering how this connects to that. Well, I'll go ahead and show you. Okay, so to do this, simply pretend these are plugged into the uh, sound card. You want to get this cable here aligned with this connector here. All you literally do is slide the cable in. So this makes sure it's got a good grip on the cable. Then you go ahead and plug this into the sound card in the microphone slot. And then you have a headset because you'll put this on and when you speak that will pick up your voice and you guess the rest. You can speak to people online, you can do whatever. You can record yourself speaking as memos. So that's how to connect the microphone to this headphones. Now I'm going to go over the positives and negatives. The first positive that I have to point out is this. The cable that is connected to the headphones. Let me show you to my current headphones. Look at the size difference in wire. The reason I'll point this out is because a thicker wire means it will be harder to break so if you accidentally trip over the wire it will not snap as easy. Another positive is the fact that these headphones are padded to give you maximum comfort. However though for my first negative, despite this having padding, it is not as comfortable as it could be. My second negative is that this microphone has to be attached to the cable. I do not understand why they could not have connected 
or inbuilt a microphone into these pair of headphones. Overall, these headphones are very good for the casual user as the more hardcore users will be using it for longer periods of time and it may cause pain. Also, this removable microphone is good for those who want a portability and other various factors like that. However, if you're looking for a compact headset, a well-built headset, then I would go for something else. Not saying this is a bad headset, all I'm saying is if you're more of a hardcore gamer you might want to think about spending more money to get a better quality headset.